Well, I just found something a little while ago that was kind of exciting. And it gives me more hope again that my deer might still be around. I was looking around for Rocky. And I couldn't find him anywhere. He did eventually come. I called him and he came to me. But, you know, if the weed's growing up and everything now and the grasses and stuff. Uh, it's very difficult to, uh, it's very difficult to tell where Rocky's at, because he, I could walk right past him and I wouldn't know it, you know. Anyway, I'll show you what I found. You know, remember my, my deer came and stood right there that day and I made a video of her. Well, look what I found here. Right here, see how the weeds are all pushed down here? Just like over there in the ras in the blackberry bushes where you could see somebody had bedded down. Something's bedded down right here, too. Something's bedded down right here, right under my window. Huh. I wonder if my little deer went to sleep here last night. And I went right there and I was laying in there on the other side of the window and didn't even know she was here. It's possible. Anyway... It gives me a little bit of hope anyway. One thing I did discover over here too is it isn't just one that bedded down over here. I thought it was just one, but upon closer examination, I see that there's multiple spots. See right in there? That's one spot there where something's bedded down. But when you go back in here, you can see there's another spot there. And way back in behind there, there's another spot. I probably won't be able to see it with the phone, but here, I'll come in this way and I'll show you it here. Yeah, see this here? These are all spots where, where, where animals have bedded down. See right there, see how that's all flat compared to the rest of it? That's where some large animals have bedded down. So, yeah. But like I say, one of them bedded down right under my window anyway. So that's kind of leading me to believe that, uh, that my little deer is still around. Just not grazing in this field anymore for some reason. Maybe bedding down here at night and then moving to some other area to graze. I don't really know. But... Uh, I don't really know what, you know, it's hard to say. There'll be some reason if she's doing that. There'll be some reason for that. Either, she, either all the good stuff here is gone, the stuff that she prefers. Or, if that's not it, then um, it may be that uh, because of the coyotes around here or whatever, I, I really don't know. But... There'll be some, something going on anyway where she either doesn't feel safe or she's not getting what she needs here or something. But uh, if I'm correct, then that was her to bed it down there, which, again, I don't know that that's the case. It may not be. But uh, walking through here, I just wanted to see there's a nice little butterfly. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not. But, uh, yeah, we'll see here. I think it landed on this bush. I don't see it now. It's gone. All right. Anyway, yeah, normally I would see her in around here grazing, but I don't see her. So I think she's moved on, but who knows? Maybe she's coming back at night and having a sleep under my window. It's hard to say. Deer won't generally do that, though. They won't generally get that close to where a person is. So, but this one seems like she's not afraid of me. I seem to have gained her trust. So, perhaps she is doing that. I don't think any other deer would, really. But I think if you gained, or if you gained the trust of a deer, it might do that, you know. Anyway, that's just what I think. I don't know that. Um, there's nothing else I can think of. There's no other reason for the grass to be flattened down like that. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm cautiously optimistic, that's all. That my little dear friend is still around. 
All right, I hope you're all having a good day. It's still fairly nice here. It's a little cool and breezy, but it's not bad. It's actually a good day to do some work outside. And the rain definitely helped too. I mean, the rain took the humidity out of the air and it also soaked things down, which we really needed. There's still a burn ban on though here. At least there was this morning. I haven't checked the website since early this morning. Maybe it's been lifted now, but it wasn't lifted as of early this morning, so perhaps they feel that it's still too dry to do any burning. Like I say, as far as me going back to work goes, I don't know when that will happen at this point because the, the man I've been working for is, is, is badly injured right now. And he's an older man too, he's in his 80s. So the only reason that he hired me really is because he's just not able to do it anymore because of his advanced age. But he's still a going concern, I mean, he's still quite active and he still does a lot of work. And the man's a wealth of knowledge too, you know. He's got 80, 81 years of tromping around in this world, so he's learned a few things along the way anyway. And so uh, it's kind of nice to work for somebody like that. I hope I do get to go back and do it again. But right now he's got to recover. 